Today, I'm going to show you how to do a payment plaque. Um, I just got some new plaques in. I am doing this in silhouette. I am going to do this in the plaques that I got in are a funky shape. Um, they have like jagged edges and they're measuring about 10, just over 10 by 6. So I'm going to put them in at 10.15 by 6. So I just made a rectangle. I'm going to go up here and do 10.15. And I'm going to do six for my measurement. So this will fit on a um, 2720. So that's what I'm going to print this from. So this is the design that I'm doing. I'm going to print this out in rectangle. I'm going to pull the image that they wanted into it. So I'm going to go into my downloads down here at the bottom. And I'm going to pull in this pink glitter ombre. Um, looks like it's on, this was a pad design, unfortunately. So you could just drop them in there if they're, um, unpadded, but this one looks like it's a padded design. So I need to size it. So we're just going to drop this in and I'm going to do the 10.15 by six. And that should bring me to the size that I want. Yep. So I don't need this behind there. Um, normally you can drop and drag, but if the designs are padded, you can't drop and drag. So this is the one that she wanted. This was, um, from design bundles. Um, I got this one a long time ago. So this is what they had picked. What I'm going to do is I am going to show you where I go to pull a QR code. So I already have some QR codes made up for this person. So I have her, um, website. So this is the website for six stitches. So I'm going to make this smaller. You can see I'm just doing it from the corner. You can also select it. If you highlight this, you can see how it, the size comes up here and you can change it to whatever you want. So typically what I'll do is lock it so it changes um, the height and width at the same time. So I'm going to bring this to 2.5. And here is her website. So we're going to drop that in there. I'm going to maneuver these around, but right now I'm just going to show you guys how um, I do everything. So her logo should also be in here somewhere. I downloaded that too, and it was probably just a download. Nope, it was in my desktop. So I'm going to go down and see if I can find her logo. I know I just saved it. I don't know where it went to. There it is. So I'm going to pull her logo. Come on. There we go. So the logo has a background, which is, it's fine in this sense of it. I may try to take the background out. Um, I just pulled this right off of their website. You can see it's kind of pixelated. Let me see if I can remove the background and see if this looks any better. If I remove the background, sorry, I'm kind of doing stuff on the side without really telling you guys what I'm doing. So if you go over here to this little butterfly looking thing and highlight your image here, select and then do select and trace. So you highlight your image. I'm going to do a solid fill and then I changed my threshold here. So what I'm doing is removing the background on this and then I'm going to do trace and detach. And I should be able to pull all the white. And you can see here that it left this white in between here. Um, so it really would be better if it was um, uh, a PNG or something like that that they send you or a JPEG. But like I said, I pulled this off of her website. What I'm going to do is I kind of want to give this a color pop. So I'm going to go over here. I highlighted it. I'm going to go over here to the little square or the start up here on the corner and I'm going to do an offset. So I don't need an offset that big. So I'm going to go a little bit smaller on my offset. And come on, it'll catch up eventually. Uh, Silhouette's been acting a little funky today. It's been crashing on me all day. So I just did 0 0.60 for my offset. It looks like Silhouette's going to crash. It is not wanting to do anything. 
So I am going to come over here and I'm going to color my, nope, that's not what I wanted to do. I want just my offset to be white. So there's my offset in white. I'm not really sure I like it in white. I definitely don't like the red, so I just switched that over. So if I attach all of this together, which is over here, I'm going to group the selected so I have this highlighted. Then you can move it to wherever you want it to go. Not really sure I like um, that too much, but we'll play around with that and see if I can get that file any better. So anyway, I pulled in this QR code that I made. So I created this QR code based on what her website was. So what I do is, I'm gonna save this before um, Silhouette dies on me. So I'm gonna save this so that way I can go back to it. And I am gonna open up Flow Code. So if you go into Flow Code, and go in to create a code, you'll get the option here to do a website. So I already copied her Facebook page. So all I did was just go into her Facebook. I highlighted this over here up on the top and I am going to paste it. So I copied it from there and I'm gonna paste it. And we are, I just went into Facebook. So you'll see that the options were up there on the top. I did Facebook, so that you can see it here. That's her logo. You can change the patterns here. You could change the colors here. I don't normally mess with the patterns or the colors. You can, it doesn't really matter. You can also add her logo. So her logo is in here. You can pull that up and you can add their logo, which will drop their logo into the center. So you can see here that it just dropped her logo right into the center of that. And of course I just wiped it out. So let's try it again. So we are going to change and I'm gonna do Facebook six. We're gonna leave it like that. Nope, of course it doesn't wanna do that. Come on, I just did this. Let's try this again. All right, so we have it here. There's my preview. So you can create and download. So if you see over here, this is what it's gonna look like. And as I said, you can change your colors. You can change your pattern. Um, this one obviously, like I said, is all hearts. Has her logo in the center there. Like I said, it doesn't really matter. Um, as far as I know, they all create the same. So I'm gonna create and download. I'm gonna download it as a PNG. So you can see here that it downloaded over here on the bottom. So I'm gonna shrink out of this. I'm gonna go back to my file down here at the bottom. And it was a download. So you can see here, there's another flow code. So I'm gonna pull this up. We did two and a half inches. So we're gonna stay with the two and a half inches again. So we kind of need to um, mark these so these are different. So this one right here we know is her Facebook and this one right here we know is her website. So I kind of need to mark these so it is different. So let's see here what I can do. Just give me one second. Okay, sorry guys. I just went in and I added um, some words up here. So all I did was put shop and follow us. So shop obviously is their website and follow us is um, their Facebook page. So I am going to um, pay here for the next one. So all I did was go over to the A. I mean, obviously these are very customizable. This one I'm just doing really quick. Um, and the person can decide if this is how they like it. So I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna use the same font that I have on all of these. And I am going to group these together so the lines aren't showing. And I want to, oh, I'm gonna ungroup these so I can, 
can see here I want my character spacing to be different so I need these oh it's being stupid and I don't want to make it too small it's gonna be a hard time sorry bear with me so we are gonna put pay here let's see I haven't decided if I'm gonna like this one or not so I'm just gonna put this in black since that's what I have the other ones at and I'm using Ash Burton for my font. So I'm going to shrink this and I'm going to drop this down here. So I am going to just try to kind of level it with this one so it looks a little uniform. Obviously, I'm going to end up moving this. I don't think she has any other. I think the only thing that she's given me is Venmo. So you can add in really as many as you need to and just shrink them based on how many you need. And I'm just going to move these around so I can see what I'm doing. I'm just looking at my fonts and stuff here. So all I'm going to do is I already have her Venmo. So I'm going to go in and pull her Venmo up. So she sent this to me. All I want is this. This is it. So I am going to take out the rest of the stuff on this. So I'm going to go super, 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 super easy and just take my little um, eraser over here and I'm just going to erase all of this and then I'm going to move this. So this one obviously is significantly bigger than these ones and this one has everything on the background. So I'm going to make this a little bit smaller. Not really feeling how this one is. So I may switch these around and do the square one in the center. If you don't um, want it to be this large or if you don't want to, I want to keep the Venmo on there. So I could probably make a box. So I'm going to do it in three inches and see if this is enough where it's going to pull. So I want it to pull the Venmo also. What I'm doing is making a box to basically cut my Venmo logo and put into it without having everything on the outside. So let me see if I can center this. You can see I'm highlighting it. Sorry, I'm kind of going a little off tangent on this one. So it's it's a little close to the top, which I'm not really keen on. I'm going to try to pull this 3.5 and I'm going to go a little bit. There we go. So I'm going to go a little bit higher height wise. I'm going to highlight it again and center it. So there we are centered. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight this whole thing. So I made my box, which is smaller than what the original one was. I'm going to go over here to this little rectangle circle thing and I'm going to do intersect and it just took off the rest of that. So then I can drop that over here. So it's still pretty big, but I think what I'm going to do is swap these around and I'm going to move the follow us over here to the side and put the square one in the center and I'm going to drop that down here. Obviously that one, we want it to stand out. That's the one that we want everybody to see. And this is where you pay. And we can go from there. So we have the pay here, shop here, follow us. I'm gonna make this just a little bit bigger. All I'm doing, like I said, is grabbing the little um, arrows on the side. If you want to, so if you're trying to center the words over the QR code. Highlight the words in the QR code. Go over here and you can center it. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. So I centered it too much. So I just did the one center right here and that centered it. I'm going to do the exact same thing here. I moved the background out so I'm not fighting with that to try to get that to work. So I only want to be able to pull and highlight what I want. So that one's here. 
I'm going to take my background and I'm going to move my background back in. So you can see here my logos and everything are there. I'm going to shrink out of this. So it has our follow us, our shop, our pay here. These look like they're fairly level. Um, I need to bring this down. That looks a little too high only because um, the edges of what I'm working with are jagged. So I want to make sure that I um, give it some space since it's going in and out on the plaque that I'm using for this. It's not a square one. So this is what we're looking at. Let's see what it would look like if I did the offset in black didn't want to do that so it did the whole thing in black where all I want is the offset and it's going to give me a hard time because I've attached them together so I'm going to ungroup them let's see if it will let me pull it without moving everything nope of course not so let's try this again and I'm bet you it's going to make them black yep oh, god one of those days today it's still grouping these together. Um, I really want that to be ungrouped, but it's not giving me the option to ungroup them again. It's only giving me the option to group, and I'm not really sure I like that. So I am just going to pull the logo again. And this is becoming a lot longer than I had anticipated, guys. I was trying to make this a faster video. I need to go a little bit bigger on this so I can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to remove the background again, which was the butterfly. I'm going to select and trace. Sorry if you didn't catch it the first time. You'll catch it this time since I'm doing it again. Um, you can also remove the background and remove um, BG or so a bunch of other various ones, but this is how I do it if I'm already in silhouette. And I'm going to delete this. And like I said, it didn't, oh, and if, you know what, it's not going to take these. So it's not going to not right if I, if I do it in black. So scratch that, that's not going to work. So how about if I make this stand out? So I'm going to send this to her and see what she thinks about, I ungrouped it. So make sure you highlight it and group it all back up again, guys. This is the group and ungroup up here. So I am gonna send this to her and see if she likes it. I'm gonna try to pull her logo in black. Um, I think the black will look better with what I have going on in here. If she can pull it and give it to me in um, a PNG form, obviously that will be significantly better. And I think that would work. I'm going to move this down because it looks like it's a little bit higher than the other one. Move this one down a little bit too. So I'm going to send this over to her. So if you take a look and go into print. So this is what it's going to look like. So you can go out. So this is what it would be. So here's my edges. So my edges, like I said, on this are jagged. Um, so I may have to manipulate some more of this and make these a little bit smaller given the um, fact that my plaque is not um, completely straight on the top and on the bottom. But I'm going to send this over to um, Ashley and we're going to see what she thinks about this. But that's how you guys do the QR codes and I will um, post some more up on this one once I play around with it some more and see what I'm doing but that's where I go to pull the QR codes as I said I go in this is her um, Facebook page I create my QR codes in flow code you can change all your information here like I said you can change your colors and everything like that that's all in here so you can change everything um, I I will show you how I press this and everything like that, and I will attach that um, to the video. But this is how we do the QR codes onto the payment plaques, and I will post the rest when I'm done with it. Thanks, guys. 
So you can see here that I've pulled in some different backgrounds. I don't really like how this background is looking with the logo. So I've pulled in some other ones. I did a black offset behind this. And so I sent them over to see which one they like the best. Obviously, I mean, the background can change to pretty much anything. I have a whole bunch of different Tumblr files. Um, I get a lot of these ones on design bundles and everything else. So we'll see what she says on um, what she wants to use, guys. But that's pretty much how things work out. So you can see here, obviously, I added the logo onto the center of these, these two when I made them. The Venmo one automatically comes over with her logo on there or whatever your name is and your Venmo account. Um, and this is her website. And this is her Facebook page. So if you guys want to take a look at her really cool bags, I will put the link on for her too. So you can take a look. But this is how um, you make the QR codes and drop them in there. They will scan. I don't know if it'll scan on my computer. I haven't tried that. So typically I print them out and check to see if they scan regular before I print them, but they will um, scan upside down. So if you mirror it, it will scan. I have my phone right now and it will not scan on my laptop, uh, looking at my laptop screen, which doesn't surprise me. So, but I will print them out um, and make sure that they scan. And like I said, they will scan in mirrors. So you don't have to print them out regular and then go again. But so that's how you guys do it. Hope this helps everybody. Um, I have one of these on my table and I've made a couple other ones for um, friends of mine that are also vendors. So hope that helps guys.